Hello and welcome to Da Mecca's channel. Today we're going to check out another Cork Cruzarts, Cooks Cruzarts video in a nutshell, explaining things in a nutshell. And today's topic is tattoos. What do you think about tattoos? I don't have any tattoos. Do you have any tattoos? Some tattoos could look very beautiful, like a real work of art. And others can look like some people do it in a way where it looks like your bathroom door at a truck stop. Not so good. So let's check out what that looks like in terms of biologically what happens to your body. Your tattoos are inside your immune system, literally. With each very tasteful piece of art, you kickstart a drama with millions of deaths, grand sacrifices, and oh, no. your immune system stepping in to protect you from yourself. Oh no, protect you from yourself, from that crazy tattoo you just got. Give you a tattoo and zoom in to see what happens inside your skin. The conveyor belt of death. God damn, so dramatic with the skull and swords and oh my god what are those flowers your skin has to solve a huge problem it's your largest organ and has the most direct contact with the world around you gotta love your skin trillions of micro keeps you all together oops dirt insects and vermin keeps bad things out be allowed to get inside you but your skin is also constantly damaged by you moving through the world one insect that i hate mosquitoes they need to go extinct they're the most useless useless ecologically speaking insect out there your body solved this by making your skin a conveyor belt of death all the skin conveyor belt of death is actually dead stuff the alive part of your skin cells begins around one millimeter deep in the skin industrial complex so one millimeter of your skin deep is just dead cells that chose to die because they were programmed to do so. Stem cells constantly clone themselves, producing new skin cells that begin a journey from the inside to the outside. Each new generation pushes the older ones further up. Do you appreciate what your body does for you to exist and live? and function like look at this billions through your lifetime probably trillions through your lifetime of cells end up having to sacrifice themselves to keep your skin intact as your skin and this is just the skin we're talking cells mature they interlock with each other and produce lamellar bodies tiny bags that squirt out fat to create a waterproof coat that closes any gaps between them and then cool. they dry out and kill themselves merging together into inseparable lumps this wall of dead corpses is consistently pushed upwards this is what dust is made out of the vast majority of dust that you see in your home probably came from you and the people that live in that home cut straight off your skin to 50 layers of dead cells cover your whole body and are constantly replaced by new cells moving up. Every hour, you shed around 200 million dead skin cells. Every hour, shedding 200 million goddamn cells. Every hour. <laughs> like, just think about that. Oh my god, the things your body does to keep you. You. and all the dirt or bacteria that are stuck to them. Tattooing this part of your skin would be useless as nothing would stick around. We need to go deeper when the fleshy Makes world sense. explodes. Below the conveyor belt of when the fleshy worlds explode. But yo, these subtitles is crazy. Death lies the dermis. It's full of structural tissue and cells, tiny blood vessels, sensory cells that report to nerve endings, the roots of your hairs, sweat glands regulating your temperature. And of course, loads of immune cells. God, there's so much going on in the dermis. Guarding your flesh right below the moving border wall. This region and below is where your new tattoo will go. Okay, ready? The world explode. Half a dozen monoliths the size of skyscrapers Ouch. slip 50 layers of dead cells Ouch. deep into the dermis, ripping huge Damn. holes into the skin. Only to retreat and smash through the tissue again about twice a second. Twice a second, man. I can't stab that. Hypersonic speeds. Tens of poor skin. Thousands of cells are violently killed right away, ripped into pieces, or damaged beyond repair. You're just damaging your, your body when you get a tattoo. Look, literally, you are. Luckily, you did your research and chose a responsible tattoo artist who properly disinfected their tools and your... Oh, yeah. That's an express highway you're creating right into your body for bacteria or any anything anything else viruses to get skin. in. Skin, 
but you only ever get 99.9% of all bacteria, and some of the survivors made it into your flesh. To put it mildly, your immune system is not amused at all. All the death and destruction wakes up hundreds of thousands of macrophages in your dermis that rush into the open wounds to defend you. Macrophages, man, you gotta love these guys. They do so much with the immune system. Immediately, they start killing bacteria. They just love eating. It release chemicals that call for reinforcements and order your blood vessels to open up and make your dermis swell up with fluid. But worse than the hundreds of wounds and a few invaders is the tidal wave of chemicals that floods your tissue. Tattoo ink can be made from hundreds of substances. Some may even be toxic or carcinogenic. Most lead, nickel, chromium, isn't lead like unsafe? From heavy metals like lead, nickel or chromium dissolved in distilled water. The battlefield is now a wild mix of dead cell parts, a few panicked bacteria, blood and bodily fluids, platelet cells trying to close wounds, more and more fresh immune cells, and the flood of tattoo ink. Look at all this mayhem going on, just so you could have a Hello Kitty tattoo across your chest or arm. On the scale of your cells, clumps of ink particles are huge. If you were the size of a cell, they'd range from big dogs to small office buildings. Jeez. Your immune system has one main job, Identify what is not you and smash it until it's dead. The macrophages are desperately trying to do that. Who this? Like tiny octopuses, they extend arm-like structures and begin pulling the ink particles inside. Usually, when a macrophage has eaten an enemy, it showers it in acid to dissolve it. But this doesn't work with the ink. They try and try, but nothing yeah. works. The particles don't react. It's basically a heavy metal mixed in water, so acid is not really going to do it in any way. And this is just the particles small enough to be devoured. By now, the larger chunks are surrounded by thousands of your structural skin cells and macrophages that are numbing on them. Bless. Okay. So this is what probably keeps all your ink in place. Otherwise, it just gets cycled like everything else. But you know what I mean. It gets just repurposed and flushed around your body. Acid and attack chemicals trying to destroy and kill them, but they're not moving even a tiny bit. Nothing works. Finally, Stay. your immune system has to concede. It will not win this fight, so it does the next best thing, not lose. It does the next best thing, not lose. It won't win, but it will not lose. Your cells don't know how dangerous these metals and chemicals are, but they can at least not let them spread around, so they just stay in place. They vacuum up all the particles they can fit into their bodies and surround the larger ones, trapping them in the only prison they can build themselves. Bit by bit, the ink inside Jeez. thousands of tiny wounds moves inside millions of immune cells that freeze in place forever. Ain't that crazy? Ain't that crazy? Basically, the ink is kept in place by your immune system that just takes on the duty of being the jail keeper for this ink. They're the guardian and they'll stay, stand, watch exactly where it is. On the outside, you don't notice any of this. Your new tattoo is fresh and the colors are vibrant. Your skin hurts and is irritated and swollen. Ouch. But wounds heal, tiny holes close, dead cells are replaced. Bit by bit, the conveyor belt of death does its job, shedding dead cells ripe in color, replacing them with fresh and clean ones. Your tattoo becomes a little less vibrant. Now the ink is no longer on your skin, but inside makes it. Makes sense, makes sense. But what you're really seeing is millions of your macrophages sitting in your dermis, patiently holding the ink in place, protecting your body from poison. Can we take a second to give applause to your immune system for all it does? to keep you alive, functioning, and fighting off all enemies. Crazy. Your immune system is why your tattoo is forever. Actually, mm -hmm. nothing is forever. Over time, your mm. macrophages get old and die, and new ones come in to gobble up the ink and keep it in place. But I wonder how long that is. Sometimes a tiny bit. What's the lifespan of a microphage? If you can make sure you comment below and let me know. ink escapes. Most of it is recaptured and locked in place, but not always the exact same place. You notice that as your tattoo fades out a bit and turns less sharp and crisp at its edges. Mm. Some of the ink escapes the tattoo. Always assumed that it was just because you just it just gets worn out 
washed out, but it's it's a whole other reason. It's because of the microphages, your immune system that's keeping the ink in place ages and dies. And then the new ones that come over to take over the duty, they're not in the same exact place. Entirely, it rides fluids flowing from your tissue and spreads around your body. Another reason why tattoo ink should ideally not be poison. Your it's immune system also kind of doesn't want you to remove tattoos. To do that, usually the ink is shot at with lasers. Ooh which heats up the particles until they break into smaller chunks, cooking your brave macrophages in the process. With every Ooh. Look at this. You just destroyed the people that, that sacrificed their whole existence to keep these ink droplets in place for you. And you get regrets like that lady and just blast them. Poor phages. Round of lasering, more of your tattoo is broken down and carried away by fluids. But also, every time, new macrophages rush into the tattoo to lock the ink in place. So, hmm. Hmm. Okay, so, this seems, looks like a woman, but it's a man, because they're topless at the beach, so no shirt. Must be a man. So they got Amy, Linda, Maria, Lena, Jada. Okay, yeah, got a bunch of girls and a unicorn. Maybe think about it carefully before you get the name of your new bae tattooed. Oh, oh, let's see what she got. Sophia, Mohammed, Anna, Oscar. Ooh, she swings both ways. Interesting. You do you. But if you've got one, you can directly see your immune system protecting you. This is how much your body loves you which is kind of sweet. And while tattoos are probably not that Gotta big of a deal them. for your body if applied correctly, you now know about the struggle going on inside your skin and the sacrifice of your macrophage buddies only for you to have that. BFFs, yes. Without them, he wouldn't be surviving on Earth forever. All right. All right, so that's the end of that video. It was a pretty fun ride. That is crazy, insane the amount of havoc you create when you uh, get a tattoo done. You tell me, is it worth it? What, what's your, do you have a tattoo? Do you regret it? Do you want to get rid of it? Comment. Let me know in the, in the comment section and let's discuss this crazy, crazy situation with tattoos. Is yours an actual piece of art or is it uh, scribbles like a desk or a bathroom door in a truck stop? Which one is it? Is it real art or was it just little piece meals here and there that looks crazy together? I hope it's art that you got. Anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with five people. Share with five people. Help the channel grow. Thanks. Take care.